So what a treat it is to be back here at the Celebrate Life series with my good friend and signature event co-collaborator from the SCE event group, founder, Jason Janai. Nice to see you, sir. Excellent to be here. You guys are blowing people's minds at the SCE event group. I know you're doing cool things for cool people. That's your tagline. And I've seen it firsthand, and I've read the reviews. You have like 800 on <laughs> Wedding Wire and uh, a lot of street cred out there for you. So congratulations on that. Thank you. What's, what's behind the SCE event group, and, and what are you doing to, to achieve this level of success and recognition? Well, I think for us at SCE, it's, it's, it's never settling for the average and always taking the time to inspire our couples and clients to think bigger, to dream bigger, to want more for their events and to push the creative bar in different areas. Um, here's not good enough for us. We always try to push it higher to the right, to the left, and we challenge our couples and um, clients to, to think outside of the traditional box. Now, I know you're a make it happen guy. It's one of my favorite hashtags. I follow you on Twitter, as awesome. do a lot of people. And uh, Gary Vee was a big inspiration for you, as well as a lot of people in our industry. Um, you, you hustle. I mean, there's no doubt about it. But that hustle almost costs you your, your, your health and wellness. I know tonight we're here to see Mike Walter promote his new book, 10 Things You Can Do to Have a Better Day. And one of your hashtags on Twitter is no more fat DJ. So you did the hustle. You took your company to another level, but that came at a cost. Tell us about that. I've always kind of been sensitive or um, dialed into personal wellness and fitness in general. And um, life and business kind of took off and things have happened and I ended up getting hurt and it, uh, it, it basically impacted my ability to be active and to constantly work on things. So while I was physically not able to hustle, I did the hustle in the office and I spent a lot of time building our brand and our company. And the cost was, you know, a, a lot of a lot of hours behind a desk without you know, being active. And I, I, I essentially woke up four months ago and realized that I had let life really So tell carry everybody, on. for the ones who don't know, we're going to put up a picture in a second, how many pounds since this past summer, six months ago? Um, four months ago, actually, I've lost just about 50 pounds um, and six inches in my waist. And you know what? I feel amazing. And how does that translate to your brides and grooms, I mean, and your clients? Do you have more energy? Are you putting even more into your events now? Well, I, I think it, 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 you can draw parallels and direct kind of like um, ties to not only personal life, but also business and, and, and performance, especially if you feel good and you look good, you, you kind of have a different swagger, a different demeanor, and, and you know, presence and affliction is, is impacted by how you feel and how you look. I love it. A lot of people look to you as an innovator in this industry, and I always love to ask people in your position, so what's next? I know I read recently in an article of yours that you don't like, you don't like to be just one step ahead of people. You want to be two steps. So is that something you're going to keep private, or you want to let everyone know, you know what's on the horizon for the SCE event group? Well, with us at SCE, um, not only do we challenge our couples to think bigger, but we also challenge our incredibly talented team to think bigger, to think outside the traditional box. So um, incorporating some of the latest and greatest technology mm -hmm. into our performance and integrating um, what's hot in the production world into our private events. So now you, you mentioned uh, production at private events. Let's take weddings, for example. Mm -hmm. I know instead of just playing the, the father-daughter dance, or the father-daughter dance uh, song, which is a, it's a beautiful moment, you know, and you can just play the song and let them have their, their, their moment, but um, SCE definitely wants, you know, to go above and beyond. What do you do? Well, it, you can do a lot with lighting to kind of set the right ambiance in the room. You can also use media to impact the emotional fabric of that milestone of the celebration. And one way that you could do that is you could show images of the bride and her dad growing up. I worked with a client, her name was Kristen, and she, um, she had a really cool photo that started off this segment. It was a photo of her dad's work boots from when she was a baby and her pink boots that were, you know, so tiny right next to them <laughs> by the door. And that's how we started that off. Wow. Tears started to flow and it was incredibly personal. It was incredibly emotional and it was unique to that specific celebration and that specific father-daughter relationship. I love it. Cool things for cool people. Cool things That's for cool people. That's how you roll. Good luck. Continue success, so my friend. Thank All you right. so much. You got it.